If you're diagnosed with schizophrenia, life expectancy is up to 25 years less than the general population, rates comparable with Indigenous Australia. If you're diagnosed with schizophrenia, you're 10 times more likely to die from preventable cardiovascular disease than you are from suicide. And if you're diagnosed with schizophrenia within the first 12 months of commencing antipsychotic treatment, you can expect to gain up to 20% of your initial body weight. When we talk about those with a serious mental illness, it's not just mental. And my PhD is looking at the role that exercise can have in improving both the physical health and the mental health of those with a serious mental health condition. The first part of my thesis is looking at what effect exercise can have on the hippocampus, a region of the brain responsible for the consolidation of memory. And we're looking at what effect 12 weeks of aerobic exercise has on those experiencing their first episode of psychosis, aged 16 to 25 years. We've repeatedly shown that 12 weeks of aerobic exercise can increase the volume of the hippocampus by up to 2%, and that the increase is related to improvements in fitness at the same time, or VO2. The second part of my thesis, we're looking at ways that we can increase exercise uptake among young people experiencing their first episode of psychosis, aged 16 to 25 years. And over the past 12 months, we've been collecting data looking at demographics and also characteristics of their illness to determine what factors predict usage and exercise uptake so we can better target those interventions. The third part of my thesis, we've conducted the first randomised control trial looking at the impact of exercise on post-traumatic stress disorder. The participants in that study were veterans and police officers who came from a physical health background. And part and parcel with the condition was their physical health has deteriorated over time. And it makes sense that with that physical background, that exercise can have a positive role in improving factors such as sleep, their mental health, and also their physical health. When we talk about serious mental illness, it's not just mental, and there is a physical consequence of these conditions that's under-researched. My PhD is looking at the role of exercise in improving overall outcomes for those with a mental health condition.